of chin makers of noodles. You want to see chin making noodles? Chin making in his favorite instant ramen noodles. You guys want to see that? Because this is a very interesting video. Um, because it looks actually quite decent. This might be his best one. I'm not going to lie. I actually don't mind this. This is actually, this actually looked quite tasty. If you're a fan of instant ramen like me, you might dig this recipe. This is my favorite recipe that I made. Police in the back. I think it <laughs> There's always sirens in the background, right? Why is there always sirens whenever he's making food? What's happening? Why is it always fucking sirens? Easy universal way for people to know how much water to put in is get one of those red solo cups because everyone knows what these cups are, right? Fill Not really. Why do you t why are you measuring the rice you cook based on cups that you usually drink booze out of? Why can't you just get a measuring cup? Why is that to be a red salt? Like, huh? That's kind of, that's very alky, isn't it? Dependent. So the the cup he just finished boozing out of, he then uses that as a measuring cup for his rice. So he has fucking whiskey infused rice <laughs> or whiskey infused noodles. Love it. Fill it to basically the top and then pour it in. In my personal opinion, I think these are the best instant ramen noodles to get. It's called Shin Ramen. And don't get it in the cup, get it in this package. The, the noodles are different. They're way better this way. I'm lucky enough to have a mom that likes to cook for me, so she makes me these chicken patties. What? Your mom made that for you? I'm lucky to have a mom that... What? That looks like she... Did you, is your mom a fucking bird? Did your mom vomit that out and spit it on the plate? Is your mom a fucking seagull? <laughs> like what i'm lucky enough to have a mum that makes beet chicken patties what is a chicken patty anyway who makes chicken patties who takes chicken that like what gets it into like some sort of diced pat and then makes it into a patty like who does that who makes chicken patties what type of psycho is shredding chicken into a patty shape <laughs> why would you do that why you just give me the strips of fucking shredded chicken i can make my own thing why are you like huh shin ramen and don't get it in the cup get it in this package the the noodles are different they're way better this way i'm lucky enough to have a mom that likes to cook for me so she makes me these chicken it might also imagine being in your 40s and being happy that your mom is giving you food i'm surprised just, I, I i wonder why he just doesn't live at home maybe because his parents live in korea right all his parents from actually do his parents actually live in Korea? I'm surprised he doesn't just live at home. Why is it if his mum's cooking food at 40 years of age? And he, like, so he takes, like, that's weird, isn't it, no? Or is that an Asian thing? Is that an Asian thing where, like, you still have your mum cooking your food when you're 40? Chicken patties, they're basically lean chicken breast with onions and garlic. The next step is add sriracha. Don't get me wrong. It sounds pretty nice. Lean chicken breast with onions and garlic does sound nice, but it, it looks fucking disgusting. I'm not going to lie. It looks absolutely, it looks like his mum was chewing it and spat it into a bowl and then said, here, baby, here, here, baby, here. Like, I can't do the accent. I probably shouldn't do it anyway, but you get, you get what I mean, right? Gotcha. Here, here's for you and your brother, Glyn. You and your brother, Glyn. Here, G give to Glyn your brother. Uh, chin and glin just eating this fucking shit and of course he's gonna cover it in fucking shirasha in sirasha yeah brilliant 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 let's just cover it in shirasha your mum put garlic and onions in this patty and then they're gonna cover it in sirasha. okay cool no problem that's a good amount right there from there just mix it around chop it up get it to where it's like nice and almost like ground beef once you're done chopping it up it should look something do you have to chop it up with your fucking chopsticks? Or is that just like something to like remind everybody that you're Asian? Do you can't you just like cut it with scissors or something? Or like do you have to do it with chopsticks? Just to kind of keep it authentic? <laughs> I guess. Like this at the end. When you open the ramen, I like to chop it up in four. So break it this way, break it that way, have four pieces. Like that. Why does it matter? Why don't you just put the whole thing in the pot? Why do you have to chop it up into pieces? The first pack's put in is this guy, the vegetable mix. Am I am I redacted? Why do you have to why do you have to cut the why do you have to break the noodle the noodle little cake into bits? Why don't you just put it if it's gonna why is, <sighs> once the water reaches boil, slap it in. Lower the heat about halfway. 
about three minutes after you turn the heat down. Ah, shorter noodles. Okay, cool. Shorter noodles. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So you don't want them to be longer. Fair play, fair play. Fair play, fair play. I don't give a fuck because I'm just going to eat them. I don't need my... It's like it's like cut, It's like like getting your mum to cut up your dinosaurs, your chicken dinosaurs, your turkey breasts, or your fucking nuggets. It's like, really? My nuggets... My mum, the nuggets are too big for my throat. It's like... Just fucking swallow the shit, bro. If you got long noodles, bite it like the rest of us, like all of us savages do. Your noodles are too long. You just, you slurp that shit. Whatever you can't suck, whatever you can't deep throat, you just buy it off. It's no big deal. You have to fucking cut up your fucking, I'm going to break the noodles in the packet so it's nice and short and it can go in my throat. No, Grow up. You should start adding this guy, the soup base. <laughs> why does he eat so poor <laughs> this isn't poor but why does he eat so poor he probably makes more money than me he probably makes more money than maybe some of you in the chat why does he eat like this why does he eat like he's in a trap like he's like he's fucking down bad like why does he eat like this can somebody explain to me why he looks so like poor when he eats <laughs> why does he look so poor like, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> why does he look so? What is this? Can someone tell me why he does this to himself? Then turn the heat back up a few notches under high. And then slap in a hot dog. My favorite ones are farmer. Oh, he goes again with the fucking glizzies. Exactly, Joseph. He eats like a broke college student. Yeah, th that's the best example. Not even poor. Forget the poor thing. He eats like a broke college student that never grew up. Exactly. All this stuff is amazing when you're like in college or you're of college age because you, you literally don't have any money. And those packs of noodles are like a dollar sometimes, right? Or maybe under $5 for a pack. So you can literally buy, you know, you can buy a, a pack of noodles for the day, each fucking day and smash them and you'll be okay. But when you get a bit older and you have some disposable income, you don't want to be keep you don't want to keep eating fucking cup of noodles you know what i mean like i don't know john's wieners and as long as it's not in the freezer and it's just refrigerated you don't have to cook this at all just have it as is and then drop it in after and once it's at a steady boil again drop in that chicken not like that though but once you drop in the chicken the boil is going to calm down so grab that hot dog and drop it in as well and once that boil starts coming back up start dropping in all the four pieces of ramen there's one two three and four and just mix in like that and then wait after two minutes drop in a big fat egg <laughs> after another two minutes turn off the grill get a big fat bowl grab that ramen and dump it into the big fat bowl looks like pure shit that looks like it came out the back of his ass mate fucking hell turn off the grill get a big fat bowl grab that ramen and dump it into the big fat bowl <laughs> that looks like pure slop that looks like the shit they serve in pr on prison break season one mate one more time, honestly, that looks horrendous, bro. Look at the color of that sausage. Look at that sausage. That does not look like it's been cooked. Look at the look how much liquid there is. Shouldn't it be a little bit like? Look how look how much look how clear that liquid is. Oh. <laughs> All that money and equipment and he's got the same bowls he probably found in the apartment when he moved in he's got 10 grand worth of fucking cameras but no bowls he bought himself right just the bowls he kind of found in the apartment for the previous tenants lovely love it love it love it love it <laughs> hold on is he is he using a camping so is that the camping saucepan is he using the same pot that he takes to camp 
to cook at home. He doesn't have a... Mm. Now grab another big fat egg and drop it in. But don't do it like that. Since I messed that up, I'm, let's drop in another big fat egg. You want it to be whole with the yolk. There you go, like that. Now that we have a fresh egg with an unbroken yolk, take a pan and cover it up. After about three to five minutes, the last egg should be a little bit cooked like that. From there, it's time to enjoy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I missed something, hold on, hold on. Drop it in. But don't do it like that. Since I messed that up, I'm, let's drop in another big fat egg. You want hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. If there's any Asian people in the stream chat, if there's anybody in the stream chat who's from South Korea, who's Asian, who's Chinese, Vietnamese, th from Thailand, whatever, please tell me, is this normal? He already put an egg in the noodles when he was making it on the pot on the stove why now is he adding a raw egg in there when he poured it in the bowl what's the point of that when you already put one in there can somebody please tell me what what's going on here is this, is this normal why is he adding a raw egg into this they love drippy eggs why not just put the egg in, why not put them all in there then why is he why is he doing it in, i don't understand shit shades cow why is he adding he added one egg before right he put an egg before when he was putting it on the on the there's already an egg here he puts an egg Drop in, in a big fat egg while it's boiling then he takes it off boil and he puts it in the pot and he adds another egg that's raw why why Severe design. It's like he's disconnected from his real heritage and he tries to hard to be Korean. Maybe that's it. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh my God, bro. Exactly. Exactly, Fudo. Oh, sorry, Matty Boy. He has a gut of made of steel because I don't know about you guys, but when I'm making fried eggs, especially sunny side up, if sometimes the, if the whites of the egg haven't been cooked correctly or cooked well through and it's still a bit runny, it can make me bath just the texture of it like if i'm running my fingers ar across the eggs and i notice the whites are a little bit undercooked and a little bit runny it can literally make me bath like i can't i can't eat it like if i taste that like sliminess of it it can make me throw up the fact that he can eat this he must have like intestines made out of fucking i don't know like aluminium or some shit because that is incredible, brother. He can eat this egg that's been, that's literally raw in his pot like this. Like, what does that do to, what does that do for the flavor? Like, what's, why are you, like, and it's not like he's got, it's not like he's using like um organic eggs from like a free range farm or something. These are just like factory farm eggs. You know what I mean? Factory farm eggs. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Drop it in. He's probably got loads of shells in there as well now. He can't even crack an egg properly. He's probably cracking loads of shells in that fucking noodles. But don't do it like that. <laughs> Since I messed that up, I'm, let's drop in another big fat egg. You want? And why is he saying big fat egg? Is he like? Is it? Does he feel like a badass when he says that? Big fat egg, big fat bowl. Does that? Is that like a? Like an? Is he trying to be edgy? Like what? What is that all about? To be whole with the yolk. There you go, like that. Now that we have a fresh egg with an unbroken yolk, take a pan and cover it up. After about three to five minutes, the last egg should be a little bit cooked like that. From there, it's time to enjoy. And, and I hate that he doesn't, why don't you just sit down on the table, Raleigh? You don't have a chair. You have a thousand SLR cameras, thousands of equipment, thousands of dollars worth of audio equipment, and you don't have a chair, like a little stool to sit on. You have to stand up like a fucking savage. Sit down, bro. Have your meal. Enjoy it. He's literally standing up next to the door, eating his food. <laughs> He's so busy. He can't. He can't just like sit down. He has to kind of like eat on the go. Like sit the fuck down, bro. Like honestly.
At least he likes it. Fucking hell. At least he likes it, innit? At least he fucking likes it. <laughs> At least he fucking likes it. <laughs> That's what matters, isn't it? At least he fucking likes it. Because Jesus Christ, look at that. <laughs> <sighs> fucking hell chin honestly brother wow yeah that music is fucking trouble obviously music by me right he's gonna have it on the end right music by me edited by me filmed by me it's like bro we know we get it you don't need to put it in the credits like music by me edited by me soundtrack by me <laughs> vocals me beat me mastering me <laughs> distributed by thick boy record records like fucking <laughs> so oh look see there we go see by me produced by bio <laughs> <laughs> Chin's the kind of guy when you when you have like dinner at your house and you want people to bring food, he's the one person you don't ask to bring food. You tell him, hey, bring some drinks or like bring some snacks. Do you know what I mean? You don't want him to bring any food. You just have to instruct them clearly, hey, don't worry, we've got enough food. Just bring some drinks because fucking hell, bro. Imagine if he tried to bring that shit to like a party of yours, a dinner party. He tried to bring a bowl of his noodles 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 con glizzy right noodles con glizzy <laughs> noodles e glizzy <laughs> packet of noodles <laughs> with a glizzy in the egg Under high? imagine you try to bring that to a dinner party imagine you try to bring that shit to a dinner party Holy shit, bro. Honestly, Chin is fucking tapped, man. He's not all there in the right. He's not all right in the head. I swear to God, there's something wrong with Chin. There's literally something wrong with him. I don't care anyone says there's something wrong with Chin. There's literally something wrong with that guy. He's not normal. He's not fucking normal. Like, he cuts up the little noodles into four little bite-sized bits to make it easier to eat, and then he ends up fucking taking it straight to the face like he is anyway, right? Talk about easy to eat, right? How easy to eat you want it when you're fucking, you know, swallowing the whole fucking bag in your face? Look at that. Look. <laughs> he's diving in. Like, he's placing his whole face in that bowl like it's a bowl of ice cubes. And he's trying to get his inf inflammation down or some shit, right? Like, God damn, bro. Taking those noodles to the face. But, yeah. Big up Chin. Big up Chin Su Yi. Absolute fucking legend. Absolute fucking legend.